Good morning, my name is Dr. Jeremy McAnulty for New South Wales Health and I'm here with a COVID update for New South Wales for Wednesday the 22nd of December 2021. Across New South Wales, 94.9% .9 of people aged 16 years and over have now received one dose of vaccine and 93.4% have received two doses. Of people aged 12 to 15 years, 81.5% have had one dose and 78.1% have had two doses of COVID vaccine. There are currently 302 people with COVID in hospital, 40 in intensive care, 12 of whom require ventilation. There were 3,763 cases of COVID reported in the 24 hours to 8 o'clock last night in New South Wales, and there were more than 151,000 tests reported in the same period. A reminder to everyone across New South Wales to get vaccinated, vaccinated now if you've not had your first dose and to get your second dose as soon as it's due. We continue to see mostly unvaccinated people in intensive care. Thanks to everyone who's come forward to receive your booster dose. Uh, our booster program continues to ramp up with New South Wales Health Authority delivering more than 130,000 boosters uh, in New South Wales uh, to keep people safe and increase immunity in the community. People aged 18 years and over are eligible for a booster five months after receiving their second dose. Uh, if you haven't yet boost, booked in for your booster and it's approaching five months uh, since the second dose, please visit the government website uh, to book in today. Uh, thank you to the community for coming forward for testing. We've seen incredible testing numbers as transmission increases across the state. Uh, we advise you to get tested if you have even the mildest of symptoms. Come forward for testing and self-isolate until you get a negative result. Uh, this applies to everyone, even if you're vaccinated. Uh, please practice COVID safe behaviours, including uh, wearing masks when you're indoors and can't uh, distance from other people. People exposed to COVID may still develop an infection uh, after the first seven days. So you've got a 14 day incubation period. Uh, so after the first seven days, when you've been isolating in the next seven days, um, Please exercise caution if you have been in contact and not enter high-risk settings. Uh, avoid large indoor gatherings and use rapid antigen tests uh, if you're coming into contact with vulnerable people. Get tested and stay at home if you've got even the mildest of, of symptoms and uh, don't visit family, friends or go to social events if you're unwell. Uh, wash and sanitise your hands regularly. If you don't have symptoms, you can use rapid antigen tests to check that you're safe before going out and where you might be exposing other people. Uh, all cases are contacted by text message from New South Wales Health to inform them of their positive diagnosis. And cases are asked to alert their household contacts and people who they've stayed with for four hours or more to get a PCR test and isolate for seven days, regardless of the test result. Uh, but remember, in the next seven days, you still may be at risk, so exercise additional precaution. Uh, cases are reminded not to get retested unless uh, you're specifically advised by your clinical team. Uh, people diagnosed with COVID-19 in New South Wales who are assessed as low risk will receive an automatic text message advising them that they can cease isolation on day 10 as long as they have no symptoms in the previous 72 hours. Patients who still have symptoms are advised in the text message to contact their GP for, or medical team for advice about ongoing management. A relatively small number of patients being cared for New South Wales who have protracted illness, such as people with uh, immunocompromised, may be advised by their clinical team to extend their isolation period and will be released from isolation when it's deemed safe to do so. So thanks again everyone for coming forward for vaccination, boostering and if you've got mild symptoms, getting tested. Really appreciate it.